All right, Falls River Dam kind of sucks. So here we're here on the crawfish at Danville again. Much higher water than what I'm usually here. This is good, I'm able to throw some lures. And look at that, there is a big, I think that's a freshwater drum that's dead in the water. I'm tempted to just use that as bait, but I don't want to touch it. So uh, we're going to basically throw some lures, throw some baits, hopefully we can get something good. Uh, let's just toss a worm out there too and see what we got. A lot of stuff lives in the off flow, so. Got a one ounce weight, it's pretty good. Just gonna let it sit. All right, usually I would start off with a Bobby Garland, but today I actually really want bigger fish and it's getting kind of late, so we're gonna start off with the white swim bait. Something might have actually taken uh, one of the worms maybe, but I don't think it's on. So we'll just wait on it for a while. Seems like it's something like th uh, thalactic, but unfortunately it's not uh, pulling anymore. So if something did pull it, it's off now. Seems to be a couple of reeds here, so complete, not completely devoid of growth. And in a place like this where there's current on a mill pond, you do have to consider the fact that the current's gonna make the line move a little bit. So a slight tug on the line does not actually mean there's anything there. All right, I got something big. It got hung up on my other pole too, but that is definitely not my line tugging. Almost took the whole thing in. It almost looks like, I think it's a carp. Definitely seems more like a carpio than anything else. It's not quite strong enough to take the, yeah, no, it took some drag, I guess. No, it's taking some drag. I think it's a carp. I think it's a carp, but that'll be good. First fish here. Oh, that's a big one. It is a carp, I think, but that's a pretty big one. That is a big one, biggin'. Yeah, that's a big, oh, that's a huge one. At least big for here, at least. I don't know if it's big for, you know, like Lake Wisconsin and all, but I'm not at Lake Wisconsin. Ouch, I'm at Danville Mill Pond and it's pretty darn big for Danville Mill Pond. I can't get it under, okay, 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 okay. That's a big one. It's a big one. Didn't take that long. That did not take long. Almost stole my rod. It's about the only thing here right now though, I think. I've definitely caught carp here earlier than any other fish. And this is, this is not a small one. It's not a small fish. Better not break my rod. That's a fairly large one. Excited about that one. Excited about that, but I need somehow to get it off my string for my other pole here. There we go, I think it's off my string now. No, it's not, it's just more complex now. Don't want everything to get tangled. And it looks like the string is positively wanting to get tangled because that's what all string does. I hate fish string, but that is a carp and I need to tighten the drag. I got 30 pound line here, so probably not gonna have too much trouble. That's a big one, that's a good one. That is a good one. Oh yeah, there we go, that's a nice carp. That is a very, very nice fish. Come on, come in, come in. You're not getting anywhere, you're not going anywhere. All right, Carpio, you're mine. Oh, that's a, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. Common carp. Very, very big common carp. 11 and a half pounds. Common carpio. I thought it was bigger than this, but only 11 and a half. But still a very, very nice fish. That is a massive carpio. Still very, very lively. Just put it back in the water and send it off, I guess. There it is, carpio, common carp. Well, there's 10 plus pounders in here. Let's see if there's 20 plus pounders in here. Good start, good start to the day. Very nice fish, very big. That was exciting, but I would like fish of the non carpio type today too. So uh, hopefully that's not the only one I catch today. It's really shallow here. So I'd probably switch up to a smaller lure, but I know that there's 
walleye, death fish, and other things here. So I think I'm okay with this. However, the water is very cold. I just felt it probably in the 40s. So I wouldn't be surprised if not much bit. It's kind of like what happened last spring as well. I basically caught one fish. I essentially just caught one fish at the beginning and then no more fish after that. All right, I think I got one. Yep, I got one. I think that's one. Yep, that's a fish. I thought he was off. It's a nice one. Uh, is that? No, it's a bullhead. It's a bullhead catfish. Bullhead. Yep. <laughs> Want to toss him out for a flathead, but I think it's a little too early. Nah, I'm good. I have some more worms. All right, another bullhead catfish. Hopefully, get a better fish than this, but it's about the time when they start hitting. About the time. Go bullhead. Not much. Not much. There you go. There you go. Go bullhead. Back in the water. I was about to pack up and go, but I got something. What is that? And is that a walleye? No, it's a it's a rock bass, but it's a freaking huge rock bass. Oh my god! I thought this was a smallie, but it's actually a rock bass. Check it out. It's a rock bass, and it's massive. Just massive. I don't know how big it is, but it's probably like over a pound. I'm gonna get my uh, weights out for this because I've never caught a rock bass this big. Check out it. Check out the rock bass compared to my hand. It's like at least like 10 inches, 11, 12 inch plus rock bass. Insane. 0.64 pounds. Once again, big, big rock bass. Can't believe that's a rock bass. Thought it was a smallie. Oh well, that time to let it go. See a rock bass. Right, there it goes. It's going back. It's going back. I think that's going to be it for today. Didn't really catch anything huge. I mean, I caught an 11 point. I caught like an 11 pound bass and I caught that big rock bass in the end, but then it was just a small like bullhead catfish. But either way, I mean, it's a small fishing adventure in Danville. I'm gonna come back here when the water's warmer. Obviously the water's still like 40 degrees, but three fish all day. Actually, I came here at like five. Now it's like 9.30, gotta leave. But uh, nice ending with that big rock bass.